Hey crafters, it's Muriel. I am back from Eastern Washington. I, if m many of you may know, I went over to visit my daughter, spent some time with her. Had a wonderful time. I did lots and lots of crafting. When I say lots and lots, meaning I, I made about 20 Halloween cards, which I'm so excited about. So I am going to spend some time tonight addressing those envelopes and getting them in the mail. But I came home and I had some happy mail from Iris Sherbert, Schubert, excuse me. And Iris, thank you so much. I can't tell you the last time I got some happy mail. And that's why they call it happy mail because it makes you so happy. And thank you so much. And I know you said I didn't need to do a video. I have some other things I want to show, but I did want to show a few things. I got so tickled by this package. You are so funny. All the package, um, everything in the package had a little yellow sticky note on it, <laughs> which started out like, I thought you'd like one of these, so I got me one too. I thought you'd like one of me, one of these, so I kept the other one, and I'm giving you one. You know, just cute sentiments. It was so funny. Iris, thank you so much. Um, so I wanted to show you, Iris doesn't do videos, but she is one of the talented uh, people on YouTube and I recall watching Lisey 46 video and she was in a swap and she showed a card or tag that Iris made in a swap over on your paper pantry and you know I'm just like oh my god so talented so speaking of her talent here is this beautiful autumn card she made for me and she shared with me that this is one that she made over on your paper pantry and it's so so pretty thank you so much and it's right on time because I have nothing in the card wall on the card wall so yours will be going on the card wall so that I can look at it in my craft room every day so thank you so she sent me a bunch of stuff again she said I didn't have to show but I just wanted to show a few things and one of which Iris thank you so so much for these these are some beautiful um, holly bouquets that she picked up for me and it's perfect timing because I uh, love watching Ramon at home and Ramon showed a tutorial on a fall wreath. If you haven't seen it, go visit his channel. So I've made three of them so far. I made one for my door outside, uh, one for a girlfriend and one for my daughter. And he just showed another one, a Christmas one barely he says it's under twenty dollars which you know if you are gifted flowers like this now we're going less than ten dollars so iris thank you so much for the, they're coming they're going to come in perfect because i'm going to use these sprays along with some burlap poinsettias and some other red stuff and i'm going to make my um christmas wreath with this so i'm so happy i uh, found me a wreath over in eastern washington not that i couldn't found find it here but i always go to the seattle goodwill when i'm there and there was a wreath of 4 dollars and yes I bought it all the way back 129 miles to Seattle so anyway moving along um, let me show you some of this chalk um, chalk it up things that um, Iris sent to me this is uh, chalkboard sheets and um, there's three sheets in here which is really good and you can see you can use them with chalk or maybe if you had a chalk pin which I do have because Iris sent me one here it is here, and it has a little sticky note on the back. <laughs> and it's a wet, erasable, mess, and dust-free chalk writer. So really happy about that. And um, she says how she feels about it. <laughs> so once I use it, I will let you know my opinion of it as well, Iris. And then here's one with a little note. And this is a another bright white ink. And um, I think she likes this one because she kept one. It looks like it had two in the pack. So I'm so glad. I will definitely let you know how this one writes as well. And then she sent me some chalk tags, which are really cool. Love those. My theme this year, and I'll show you as I show you a paper pad I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm kind of going with that woodsy look. I did a little of it last year with a paper pad. Uh, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Um, 
that I got from Recollection, but it just had lots of plaids and it just had that woodsy look. So loving these. They're called price and labeling swing tags, but you know, we'll use them for Christmas or Halloween. And then there are these tag embellishments, also cute. I love how big the um, eyelid is there on the edge. And they are um, cut, um, what is that, um, fishtailed at the bottom, which is cool. And then these chalkboard tags here with the sticky note. <laughs> <laughs> this is a six piece tag and you know what this is perfect I just need to find the proper six letter word and this is I'm gonna uh, this is this I am going to uh, make a banner for my desk um, I'm in a new department as you guys know I've been there now almost a year and um, I find out that you know our super super high level boss doesn't like a lot of decorating right so I'm kind of like okay well I have to do something on a smaller scale so this is a one you know just be one word banner and I will definitely um, doll it up and it'll go on the outside of my desk and once it gets up there I'll show you guys so Iris thank you so much for these goodies like I said there's a box down here on my left side that is full of other things that she got for me Christmas um, um, Halloween I think what she was doing is as she thought of me she would put the things to the side and then the box became big enough and ready to be mailed and she mailed it to me so thank you so much she also picked me up some uh, bittersweets and you remember those um, foliage from Dollar Tree they were so hard to come by here I never found them here I found them like 50 miles away uh, on a um, at a Dollar Tree I had to go to work you know a ways and while we were finishing up I said can you guys run me by the Dollar Tree because I can't stand it and that's where I found my bittersweet so Iris was kind enough to uh, collect a bunch of them from her Dollar Tree and she sent them to me so thank you so much my friend I really appreciate you sending me this package so you guys while I was over in Eastern Washington visiting my daughter who is going to be graduating can you believe it next June oh my gosh didn't I just do a video saying she's a senior from high school and yes yeah, she's getting ready to um get that degree so um I went over there to see her I'm just kind of bending down getting this stuff and we had to go to um Yakima which is eastern Washington from where she goes to school at so we took a little day trip and um, it was only about 40 minutes wasn't too bad two lane road nothing but mountains a couple of tractor trailers just enough to give mommy the heebie jeebies but I made it thank you God and once I came into the town and saw Hobby Lobby I was smiling so that's where we went first I call it Holy Land Hobby Lobby and um, once I did that shopping, then you could have took me anywhere. So, and, and we did. Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, we had lunch. We went to Costco over there. We went to the mall. We went to Pink. We went to, you name it. We went all over. So it was a good um, trip. So let me show you a few things I picked up. You know, all Hobby Lobbies look the same, right? Where you go. There was nothing different about this one. It was beautiful. It was clean. It was well stocked. So I, um, but it's always better when you go with someone else and then you have a coupon to use and then so does she. So I ended up getting this tag punch here. This is a DIY party tag punch by We Are Memory Keepers and it punches three different sizes and whatever length of tag you want. And I think I'm going to be using this. I hope to uh, make my Christmas tags using this punch. I'm going to a crop next weekend. So this is going with me. So I want to be able to pull out some embellishments that will enhance these small size tags so that folks can uh, use them. You know, I find that all those tags I made last year and, you know, they were nice, but everyone that I gave tags to refused to use them on gift packages for their friends. They all said the same thing. Oh no, I'm going to put this on my tree. So. I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I need to make a tag, a tag, right? So this is what 
drew, drove me to get this here because these will look like tags. And if you put these on your tree, then okay, whatever. So I also picked up some thickers. I'm not a big thicker fan. These were, um, I don't know if they were on clearance. I probably took the sticker off. I think I did, yes. But I got this color here, which is like a red shiny, which will be cool for Christmas. Like a foil. And then this color here is like a glittery gold. So I thought they'd be perfect if I wanted to use them for Christmas. Hopefully I do. Like I said, I'm not a big thicker. I tend to use thickers when I make um, those calendar, you know, 1 through 25 flip calendars. Those come in handy. But I did find this 12 Days of Christmas paper crafting kit, which I like because, again, here is that woodsy look that I go for. That plaid, the uh, tree on top of the car, the the beige, and this one comes with, let me tell you all the goodies it comes with. And this day, everything was 50% off, the paper studio and a lot of other things. So it has um, 10 scrapbook pages, which are just enough, and you can kind of see them here. There is one cardstock sticker sheet, which is right here. There is a chipboard sheet, which is right here. And then there are 20 die cuts. And you know how we love die cuts. So here is some inspiration down here. These are all the die cuts. So there's some tags, some ornaments, some frames. So this was $8.99. Again, the Paper Studio was 50% off when I got it. Love me some Hobby Lobby. Okay, so then in this bag, and I apologize for the crinkle wrinkle, I got this plaid tidings pack. Again, Paper Studio, again, 50% off. So talk about plaid and Christmas. They kind of go hand in hand. Especially if you're looking for, going for that woodsy look. And um, I was in Big Lots a couple of weeks ago, and I saw that they already got Christmas stuff out. And a lot of it was that burlap, woodsy plaid look. So these are 15 designs, four sheets each. And it's some nice feeling paper. So that's a single sheet there. That's pretty thick. So you love that plaid, right? I used to have a skirt like that when I was a young girl. Love that. Love that. Love that. I like that. Love that. I think I had a sweater or a coat like that. Love that. Okay with that. How many sheets it says? 15 designs for each. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Love that. I think I had a skirt like that too. That's okay. That's okay. Love that. That's okay. I cannot say, um, what is this called? Not checkerboard. What is this called? Um, buffalo check. Love this. Every time I see some, some guy at work that has on a sweater like this or a shirt like this, I just think to myself, oh my gosh, when that gets too small, when you wash it in hot water and it shrinks, please let me know because I want to take it and make a pillow with it. Okay, so I got that. And then I picked up some of these plastic self-healing bags, sealing bags, because ladies, I am going to be de-stashing some flatback pearls, flatback pearls and some beads and all that stuff. Kind of minimizing because, you know, June will be here soon and my daughter will be back home. And today, if she had to come back home, there's nowhere for her to sleep in this house. She'd have to sleep with me. She did that for the summer. I think she is done. I don't think she's going to sleep with me again. So, I've got to do some more de-stash. And so I kind of pick, you know, things that, you know, corners of my room going, mm, jewelry over there. Okay, we got to go over there. We got to kind of thin it out. You know, I don't want to sell it all. I don't want to give it all away, but I certainly can thin it out. So I got these bags to do just that. Then I found this cute die by Dicery. Dicery. It's a metal die. 
And it's really cute. Look at it. I love that. That border. Wouldn't it be cute on the outside of a card? Or you can split it and just get that corner. And it's about, it's a little over five and a half inches long and two inches wide. Really, really cute. That was on clearance for $6.47. I got two dies. And that's the beauty of taking someone with you to Hobby Lobby. Because she can use a coupon and you can lose, use a coupon. And that's what I did. So here is a new Thinlet by Tim Holtz Alterations. So cute. That just, that's the card right there, ladies. That's the card. Merry Christmas. The trees. You got that tree on the car with the gifts in the back and you got the rolling hills all those dies are in here 12 dies are in here it was $14.99 and I got it with 40% off so cute right and 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 with this here you can just be uh make an assembly line cut all those out in one color cut those trees out several times cut this out and then you could just put them together and there you go you got a dozen cards then I got this one and I saw this one on his channel when he did his new Christmas what's to come video love these each one of these dies has the cut out for each everything that's in here for instance the hot cocoa you get the little star that little red stripe that little hot steamy smoke coming out and the cup all of that is one little die you can see it there Santa Claus has had his wings his not his wings his Santa Claus has his uh, beard excuse me the gift, the ornament, the boot. So again, talk about little bitty tags. Okay, let me keep going here. I picked these two up. Again, some more stuff, 40% off. These are just some cute little canvas Christmas stockings. Look at them. And you know, I have some canvas fabric but I'm, I'm just not, you know, it, what a cute idea. You can just kind of make a pattern, cut them out yourself, and put some little holly on them, right? Adorable. And then look at those guys. Look at them. Aren't they just so cute? Like, you just want to take them home. Can't you just see them right in a, in a cage with their little eyes just looking at you going, take me home, take me home. Adorable. Cute little canvas reindeers. Oh, goodness. Hobby Lobby. Okay, I got some of these Christmas... What are these? Gold glitter poinsettias and then some red ones. If I reach out again and make some of those ice skate uh, tags that I made last year. They're going to be really glittery this year. So I picked up some of these. I picked up some, what is this? Washi tape? Normally don't buy a lot of washi tape, but I have a lot. So that may be a D-stash too. But these are the small ones. These are... Um, Christmas words, you know, Merry Christmas, believe, no peeking, do not open till the 25th, all that stuff. And then these here are gold, silver, copper foil masking tapes, better known as washi tape. Really cute, so I got those. And then I found some, and the ribbon was 50% off too, so I got these here. Never seen these before, but they are um, silver copper and gold trims really cute they'll look cute on the um, outside of some cards hey then I got these they call them buttons I call them cookie cutters they're little bitty cookie cutters I thought these would be great as charms too then the person gets the card and a little embellishment that they can use cute right and some candy canes. I know I ran out last year. These are 20 and they have the little hoop so that you can put a little charm on them. And then lastly from spare parts, these adorable um, mini key charms and there are several different kinds and there's 30 of them in there and there's at least four different types of little charms. So I had a good time at Hobby Lobby. My daughter, eh. You know, when she goes with me shopping craft, she knows don't even breathe loud. More or less express that you don't want to be here. So she helped me out with the biggest items, the die set. So that's all I did at Hobby Lobby while I was gone. So I miss you guys. I am here now. I had to unpack when I got home. I had to sit down and have a bowl of hot top ramen soup. 
and um, kind of put some of my Halloween stuff away because I am done. I just need now to sit down and address those cards and get those envelopes and get them in the mail. So I really appreciate you watching tonight. Thank you all for your support. I see that my subscribers numbers are increasing so it's almost time to do a giveaway because I think I'm almost sort of kind of maybe at 7500 which is unbelievable thank you so much so it'd be time for a giveaway and um, possibly when I come back from my crop uh, would be the perfect time so um, thank you again Iris thank you for supporting the card wall I really appreciate it thank you again and everybody have a wonderful evening and we'll, we'll talk soon Bye-bye.